having talked about all the things that can possibly go wrong, what do we do about it in terms of our application security? The, uh, well, it, various tools that we can use and that sort of thing, but the primary safety feature here is the system development life cycle to properly do the development, uh, to do it in the proper way, to take all the proper steps, all the proper precautions uh, when you are doing the development. Um, as we keep on saying in security, the, the way to properly do security is to build security in from the beginning. Uh, and not try and slap it on later after you've made all your mistakes. Uh, that's, well, that way lies madness. But anyway, uh, and in, in that regard, um, doing it right the first time, uh, as we get into um, uh, sort of the, uh, the ways of working with the system development life cycle, um, the waterfall method, which is uh, highly derided. These days, everybody is into iterative methods, but the waterfall method, which means, you know, water doesn't run uphill. Uh, so, you start with your uh, initial stages, you, well, you know, finish the stage that you're on before you go to the next one. Don't hurry. Um, do your planning. Put in the time. It really does make it uh, faster in the end if you do the early stages properly. That is, of course, if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, there's always going to be mistakes that you make and things that you have to go back and fix. But uh, anyway, you know, uh, consider the waterfall method, really. Anyways, we'll, we'll get to that later. In the meantime, we've got our um, system development life cycle. And the system development life cycle is just the standard stages of project management. Um, now, there are, uh, we, you know, I've got a list here. This is not cast in stone. Uh, some people have fewer steps. Some people have more steps. Um, and, and subdivide different parts in different ways. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to argue about that here, but just the flow, the, <clears throat> the idea. Uh, we start with the initiation phase or the conceptual phase. You know, what is the idea? What are we trying to do? That is um, the beginning. And getting that idea right is very important. What is it that you want this system to do for you? Uh, what is it that you require? What is it that would be nice to have, but that can be uh, jettisoned if it, if it uh, is involving too much work, uh, if, it's, if it's not necessary to the, the crucial uh, parts of the system? Um, what is it that you want to come out of it? Uh, although, you know, that actually gets us into the, the second phase. So, you know, get the idea first, get the concept, what is it that you want, and then we go into the requirements. What, uh, what is it that we require of this system? What is it going to do for us? Uh, what are the outputs that we're going to get from it? Um, what do we have to have it do? And again, you know, uh, divide some of those areas into needs and wants. Uh, so, the requirements. Then, it's, it's only then, having determined our idea, having determined our requirements, which, uh, as we talked about in, in system architecture, that's the architecture phase, basically, um, we get into design. How is it going to fulfill the requirements? What is the overall design here? And, uh, you know, at this point, uh, we're doing things like flow 
diagrams, uh, those sorts of things to, to see, you know, what, what kinds of inputs, what kind of systems has it got to interact with, uh, what, uh, you know, how is it going to present to the user? Those, those types of things um, go into our design. And it's only then, having done those three stages and, and completed in, under the waterfall model, we get into the actual implementation. So, you know, this is not, uh, you know, just start coding, um, which so many... Uh, uh, developers do you know you get an idea you start coding uh no you know what what is the actual idea what is necessary to the idea uh what are people going to want from it uh, what are the the requirements how do how's it going to interact with things uh how are we going to design this what is the safest type of design to have for it and then implementation and at, you know, we've got the implementation phase, we're doing the coding, and then, of course, we've got testing. Um, uh, making sure that it does fulfill the requirements, that it does do what we intended it to do. Um, the, uh, we've got some more uh, stages yet. Um, once we have tested it, of course, we, uh, you know, we've got the accreditation and, uh, uh, certification phases. Well, certification is kind of the testing. So, accreditation, uh, it's accepted for use, uh, by the enterprise. And now, uh, we get into operations and maintenance. And that is a stage of development because we are looking at it we are getting feedback from the users you know does it actually fulfill the requirements even though we've done our testing you know in production does it do what we thought it was going to do for us and if not why not um and the maintenance there's going to be maintenance uh you know uh as you run into bugs hopefully you didn't build any in but mm, there's you know nobody's perfect uh, so you're going to have to do that. And we'll, we'll talk about um, uh, change management, um, configuration management, uh, patch management, all uh, part of this maintenance phase. Um, and, and then there is revision. Now, revision um, can include the, uh, the patches, the, uh, the maintenance type operations, but... Uh, we are looking at this um, uh, more in terms of the, you know, a, a major revision. You know, if there's a major change, if all of a sudden we realize, oh, we, you know, uh, we wanted it to do this, but we didn't think about that. Um, and that is really important. So we've got, uh, you know, changes both big and small um, that have to go through the same life cycle. Uh, when we get into change, configuration, patch management, think of this system development life cycle. It, you know, we are really doing it. We may do it, uh, you know, very quickly in certain steps, but we need to go through the same cycle uh, for all of these things.